I'm Chosen Architect, and this is All The Mods 9, and today we jump into the end. Hopefully you guys are ready. Now, I've been putting something off. Yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit, but today we're going to complete that, and that is going after the dragon. Now, I feel like fighting the dragon is not a big deal in the All The Mods mod packs, but unlocking that dimension and getting access to that dimension is a huge deal that is going to open up so many opportunities and possibilities due to the blocks that we'll get access to so this is going to be a fun journey now along with this some other huge news right some other huge huge news the cough core family of mods is now in the pack so we have access to thermal all of thermal stuff so thermal series, thermal foundation, cultivation, all of that fun stuff that you have access to with the thermal mod is now in here. So you have access to all of the tools, all of the bee farming, helping. Oh, it's going to be so nice getting into bees with a hive hopper, uh, things like that. We also have access to one of the best fishers, I think, which is the, uh, the aquatic entangler. This thing is so nice. So, so many new possibilities, but not only that, we also ended up getting redstone arsenal. So this is actually the mod that I want to use to try and potentially make fighting the dragon a bit easier. Well, a bit easier as far as destroying the pylons go. Now, if you've already gotten into the Ars Nouveau mod, there's some really powerful spells that will allow you to almost instantly destroy all of the pylons. But we have not dived into Ars Nouveau. I've kind of been keeping away from that mod just a little bit. Uh, due to the fact that I have used it in almost every pack up to this mod pack recently. So uh, lots of mod packs have been heavily using that mod. Um, so I wanted to kind of take it back and not start with it, but we will get into it soon. But this Redstone Arsenal mod is actually insanely powerful. And for one reason, there's only one I or two items I want to make from this. And that is a flux infused quiver. So I've set up AutoCraft for all of these items and they're actually really cheap. It's just redstone and diamonds and gold, right? Gold dust. Um, so lots and lots of easy recipes for all of these and also requires some obsidian and blaze. But as soon as you have this, this mod is quite amazing. So we're gonna make a flux infused quiver and we're also gonna make a flux infused crossbow. And it may be kind of confusing. Why aren't you making a normal bow? Uh, because it, wouldn't that be better? The crossbow has a special ability, supposedly, and that is when you combine it with the quiver, you get explosions where your arrows land. Now, I don't know this to be fact, but my hope is that those explosions will help destroy the crystals in the end. Now, with that, here we go. We have ourselves a flux infused crossbow. Now, these do cost power, and you're going to have to actually go into the hotkeys in order to change these modes. I think by default, it is set to V, but I also have my jetpack set to V. Uh, and V is going to empower these things. So once they're empowered, this can hold three charges and doesn't need arrows anymore. And I'm kind of scared. I don't want to blow up my base. I don't think it does like actual uh, damage to blocks, uh, but it does do entity damage. And so let's try this. Let's see. Am I able to shoot this? Oh no. <laughs> um, maybe I have to hit a special key in order to fire it because it is not wanting to shoot. Okay, so turns out that if you hold down right click and you charge it, that puts one in it, but if you hold it down, you can put up to three and it will fire all three at once. But the way that we fire this is by punching. So we're gonna use our left mouse button and that fires them and it does explode. Um, so that is what this quiver is supposed to be allowing this to do. And it doesn't do it with the normal bow. It only does it with the crossbow. So I'm hoping that we could use that to possibly damage things. As you notice, it doesn't destroy blocks though. Whereas if you're using our spells, well, that one would definitely blow things up. And with that out of the way, it is time to go try and find the end portal. That's going to be a challenge in itself, but hopefully not too bad with our structure compass. So I believe that we will actually find this under the better structures mod. So this is a Young's. And so we should be able to find it within this somewhere. And I think it's this one right here. Better strongholds, stronghold. 
And if I select this, and then we do a search, yes, 6,000 blocks away is where we're gonna find this. But this should be basically the end, but it's going to be a little bit more complicated than that. And I don't know if I've seen the one from Young's yet. I'm honestly pretty excited. I am kind of excited for this. Uh, this is a new dungeon I think I haven't seen before. And the journey begins. I'm off loading chunks off in the distance. Uh, hopefully we will be able to find this. Oh, I also need eyes. That would probably be a good thing to craft, right? <laughs> before we leave too far, I won't be able to access my storage once we get in there. So I definitely want to have the things I'm probably going to need at least on hand. By the way, you might have noticed in my inventory, I do have a backup plan just in case this doesn't work. I want a faster way of knocking out those towers. Oh, and that's another thing. If the Young's mod is in here, does that mean I'm going to get to see the actual new dragon setup for the first time? I, I don't think I've seen the Young's version of it. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. There's a lot of new things I'm about to encounter. Now, I think this is it. Now, oddly enough, there's actually an R's like a dome over here, which uh, should house some wildens, like a wilden hideout. And then this right here is an iron spells and spell book area. And yes, this does contain some things. We'll come back to that some other day. But I think the way that this is, is showing me, we might actually be able to find this going right down into this cave. Uh, yes, okay, so we are. So this is the different structure. And unfortunately, there's no good way to get into into these. Oh my gosh. Did we just find it right away? Oh no. <laughs> but this right here is it. I was okay. So we walked right into it. But there's a lot more to this dungeon. I, and I have explored this dungeon. So I guess it's not too big of a deal. But um, yes, this dungeon is kind of confusing and it could be if you didn't find it like mine with being in a ravine or what have you uh, it would be kind of difficult the cool part is is this room right here let's see without night vision and there's like little dragon heads popping out and everything you got the water in the middle oh it's so good it's so good and all these different chambers and there's loot and everything else and traps that you might stumble upon so yes, it's something to definitely keep an eye out on. Um, and if you go exploring in here, oh, I, I recommend, I recommend checking every room you can, because like I said, it could be a trap. It may not be a trap. It could be a room full of chests. Ah, yes. And these are not any chests. These are definitely loaded with all kinds of goodies. This go around, which is great. Look at all these like scrolls. So, yes, definitely seems like it's worth grabbing some of this stuff. If not anything, all of the R's stuff and maybe all of the, uh, the evil craft stuff to help you along in that mod. Oh, wow, and this must be the library. Oh, I haven't, it's, I haven't seen this room. So this is new to me. And there's a lot here. Okay, lots and lots of books. At least I know where I'm going to be able to get tons of books if I need more of them. Please be good in chance. There's that was it. That was bone dry. It was a bone dry chest. Who who would just give me a bone dry chest? How dare you, man? Without night vision, though, definitely would be challenging. Oh, a block of diamond. How convenient. Thank you for that. And is there anything else? There's got to be some more chests. This reminds me of like uh, in Harry Potter. This is the this is where we should not be in the back of the library. Ooh, I found a sneaky chest back here. Yes, there is. Fire breath. I'm more, though, after these gems. I think these gems are going to be incredibly important to us. Like, overall, this other loot. Ah, uh, and yes, there are chests. It seems like in all the corners. And this one had mystical enlightenment on it and capacity and riptide. But also had, yes, these right here. These are amazing. Getting these really, really nice gems. Some of these, like, banners are really nice looking. That is a fantastic banner. And this looks like a, a tomb. Oh, it is. It's definitely a tomb. Oh, no. Oh, oh ooh. That's, a, that's apotheosis gear. I'll take that. There are even secret rooms. I, yes. I seen there's something over here and I was like, we're going to tap it. It may not be 100% secret. Oh, no, it, it's exposed. <laughs> I thought it was secret. But yeah, just another example of more loot chests. Oh, these are good right here. Ooh, what is that? 30% max mana. I wonder though if this is related to the mana from ours or if this is related 
to the mana from irons. Either way, after doing a little bit of looting, we are here for one thing and one thing only to fight that dragon and gain access to that dimension. Oh boy, let's pull out the eyes, which I believe I stashed in here. And the same old portal. Oh, don't throw them. <laughs> here we go. Three, two, one. Boop. Awesome. <laughs> We've done booped our way into the portal. Time to hop in. And there we go. Oh, man. Now we have access to all of the end stuff, supposedly. I have never, however, seen this end structure. This is already kind of cool that we spawned on this. There's a bell ringing. Oh, I'm, I'm nervous now. What, uh, what awaits me? Oh, no. <laughs> what have I done? I'm not prepared for this. That's the, the worst thing. I feel like I should be prepared for this. But I don't know. Oh, I, I'm excited to see what's behind me. Okay, that's cool. Oh, and there's a portal right here. Who put that there? There's just stargates appearing everywhere. That's kind of cool. That's not cool. Get out of here, bro. Hey. No. Okay, I finally got him. But this is kind of cool. There's no dragon. Do we, like, have to activate the dragon? Oh, is it? Is it, like, actively... We're, oh, it's currently doing it. Oh, we must have got close enough. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, they're like all caged. Not all of them are caged. Oh, there's a lot going on though. I've not seen this. This is this is pretty cool. So where do we fight the dragon? Oh! Apparently there. I, the dragon's there, but it blew this up. It did not like that. Can I can I take the bell? <laughs> Oh no. Okay. This is apparently the where's the portal? How does this all work? I am very unfamiliar. I mean, I do want to dra grab the dragon's breath and also There we go. We're probably going to end up grabbing Batania stuff too, like bottles of air. Okay, so all of that is done. That should be plenty of that for now. Okay. Let's see if we can't grab a data model of the dragon, and then we need to work on enclosing all of this. So I just need to right click. Come here, bud. There we go. So now we have a dragon data model, and I can go ahead and put this inside my learner and put it in my offhand. And now we're good with that. Okay, so let's start working. Can I use this crossbow to take those out? Okay, so that did work. And, oh, that quick, it would be nice if we had some quick draw, quick draw. Okay, but that seems to be doing okay. What if we were to, for example, just use, could we use this to break them? Oh, nope, wrong spell. Oh no, wrong spell. Let's try this one. Take this out of our hand. I wonder if these spells can break them. Oh, they can. Oh, these spells are so powerful. This, for example, though, this is going to need other measures. Like, it's going to need some TNT. Yes. I haven't placed that in the, a really bad spot. TNT! Go for it! Okay, was it, it wasn't enough. Oh, it was enough. Oh, that's perfect. These are pretty good, though. These could just break right through them. And then with our flight... But this would normally... This would normally be a, a kind of a struggle, right? Nope. What am I doing? I know, I know redstone. Right. <laughs> there we go. Uh, the dragon's already taken a little bit of damage. That was enough to destroy that. I think they're all destroyed now. So will the dragon just never land? 
Okay, this does deal quite a bit of damage. Oh, yes. We're going to use this. That actually does so much damage. And be gone with you. That was so fast. Like, insanely fast. Oh, is that the way the portal works? Is is that? No way. Okay, so we have some items that we definitely need to collect down here. What? Where's the portal? Oh, it's down here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so we have a dragon egg. Oh, it went straight through. No, no, I need you. It should be where our bed's located, though. It, it should it should be. Or at least near. If not, it's at spawn. Oh, man. Not lucky in that. But it should be in the overworld. When it does that, yeah, it, it usually teleports to either your spawn location or where your bed was at. <sighs> wow. Okay. So I, I will say I really enjoyed that. Uh, now, respawning the dragon... I'm assuming we place them on this bedrock here, right? And that will spawn it, not placing it like a normal dragon. Uh, that's, I have no idea. We'll, we'll experiment with that later when we have to spawn them multiple times. But these guys, in the meantime, oh, these guys are going to get it. These guys are horrible. Oh man, there's just so many of them. Now let's take a look at those drops. I wonder what all we got. Oh, dragon scale. So we got eight of them for the one dragon kill. Oh, that is good because I was kind of afraid that this is only going to drop like one. But because of this, oh, this is going to make things a lot easier. We need this for the dragon souls. But we also technically need this to craft up another item, um, which we are going to need right here. That's called uh, the magical soil. And this is how we're going to be able to farm um, basically our all the mod seeds. We're going to have to place this underneath the farm and that should be able to farm it. So, yes, that's going to be pretty nice. Uh, now that we have that, we're able to actually make some of those. But this leads me to what we need to do next. We need to go exploring some in-cities because, well, that's, that's just normal. Also, with the Deep Learner, it looks like we only have to kill the dragon one more time. So one more time and we can actually automate the dragon. Just no, no problems at all. Now, when I mentioned normal, I meant, well, it's, it's normal to go exploring to find an elytra. I don't know if we're going to really need an elytra, but we do also want to see what in loot exists. Oh, this is so cool. Even this is different looking. I mean, that's that the portal is even different. They've done a fantastic job with this, but we do need to go here and start exploring. Now, there's going to be a lot of random stuff. This is from Inn's Delight, which is some food. Ooh, chorus succulents. Um, but I definitely need to grab this. So some chorus flowers, which by the way, we should be able to shoot them, but apparently it doesn't work with this bow. That's hilarious, but we can do this. Oh, what is happening right now? What are you? Okay, I'm getting completely, I'm getting teleported by them. Like they are teleporting me. Oh my gosh, that is an adorable, adorable fella there. Okay, yeah, I think it's just best to just leave. I think, I think we should just leave. Hey, but good news, there's a tiny little hidden city that was just right by, which will give us a chance to see what loot exists. Okay, let's see. Pop in here real quick. Ooh, a flamingo. Okay, honestly, all of this is really good. Um, oh, there was two bobbles. We also got a heart bobble. And does the temporary flight work? Let's turn off our engine. Eat. I don't think it works. So, yeah. Thankfully, the jetpack overrides pretty much everything that's happening right now. Okay, we got more flamingos. I'm trying to look through. We don't need a lot of this. An, okay, an antidote vessel? Greatly reduces the duration of negative effects. Okay, that's actually kind of worth it. 
And I'm looking. There's stasis. I'll take that. And I'll take all of the drink me stuff. But yeah, for the most part, there's not a whole lot here that I don't already farm normally. So yes, I'm only after those artifacts and some other things that we don't have. Now, these are other things that we should probably farm. Well, if it wasn't for these Endermen being as bad as they are, we should farm these guys. It's going to take a while for their damage to go down, like, because they have a lot of health. And some of them can regenerate their health. I wonder how well this does. It's almost like one at a time. <laughs> Just one at a time. But with this sword, it does quite a bit of damage. Man, once we have these swords upgraded, it'll be even quicker to kill these things. Especially this. This is a mythic mob, which means it can drop a mythic piece of gear, which will help us with apotheosis. Oh, this will be nice. Look at that, a mythic boots. And you can actually scrap these for that material, and you can mythic your own gear. Over here we have a, a sunken ship, which I'm assuming is going to have... Ooh, it's got some smithing templates, but outside of that, nothing I'm too interested in. I will, you know what? I will take the phantom membranes. That is one thing that I have actively done a lot of, is slept. A diamond backpack. We might keep that just in case we collect too much loot here. Uh, the, the, the Mundabiter dust. <laughs> you gotta love that stuff. Uh, outside of that, nothing that interesting. So I'm out looking for in-cities, but I found a different structure. And I should definitely loot this. Okay. Yes, that spawned in quite a few of these Endermites. Please tell me there's not, like, awful traps down here. I mean, I expect traps. But I, I'm going to have to block this back off because I know there's going to be Endermites that just fall down here. Okay, let's vein mine this. And let's vein mine this. That is a lot of TNT. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I'm so glad that I vein mined all of that. Oh, it was just purple carpet, though. But this is definitely a trapped chest. It had to have been. Okay, and there's a lot of end loot in here. Oh, nice. I just found the cloud in the bottle. And then we also got these R's books. And this is a bite storm. A projectile linger sensitive things. Lightning amplify and extend time. I've got to try that out and see what that does. And then we also got a flame pendant. Has a chance to light attackers on fire. Grants fire resistance after lighting the attacker on fire. Really good idea. Considering, yeah, the worst part about this is mobs can light you on fire when they touch you. So yeah, this place is kind of nice. It's just like finding an in-city with the amount of loot that's at the bottom of it. All oh, the noises are so bad, but I just found feral claws. So I'll take it in all these dragon scales I'm finding. Oh, this is another one. This is a launch. Okay, you know what? Let's actually try out the different spell books, because I just found that other spell book, right? Now let's see if we can use this on them. This guy, specifically. Okay, so that throws them in the air, and we're out of mana, of course we are. This one is a bite spell? Oh my gosh! Okay, I think that's a good one. Whoa! <laughs> Yep, that took no time at all. That is an insane spell book right there. Okay, saving that one for something else. Ah, uh, yes, this is very familiar to me. This, I do believe, is a Cataclysm boss arena? Or not? Actually, no. Wait, this might be. Yes, it's from the Cataclysm mod. I'm literally looking at an item from Cataclysm. Ah, yes. This is a Cataclysm boss. I have a feeling we could take it out quite easily. E I think. <laughs> These are the Ender Golems. And they have 150 health. But the big boss, that's the one that's going to be a little bit different. Oh, and there's... If I remember, there's such good loot in here. And I think the item that it dropped... Did I just pick it up? The Void Core. This is how we actually activate it. I love how it gives you an inner chest just telling you, hey, you might have a problem. There's a Micro Missile in here. Like that. This is okay. I, I guess you can get them from villagers, right? So, okay. Interesting. Mana Steel. All right. Now, 
That's the loot. And I love how this building just took you straight to the boss. This just took me straight to the boss. Because underneath here, believe it or not, is actually the boss. And it just spawned right away. Okay. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, that's so cool. But I'm almost positive. I'm almost positive. If we go ahead and activate our fort fortify spell. Okay. We are now well fortified. Let's also activate this. And let's see how much damage we deal. Oh, it's so good. Firebolt is so powerful. Oh, and this boss has totally changed. I am frozen in place, by the way. It has totally changed. Oh, I love this so far. This boss, man, is something else. Let's see, and you might have thought that the end was boring. Oh, he's been revealed. The second layer. And look at his face. Look at his face. Look what he is. He's revealed himself. We now know what he is. Don't hit me. Oh, good. We're free four or five. <laughs> there we go. And surely this guy is going to be done for in a moment. <laughs> It's so good. And there it is. Ah, oh, the end. It was, he just, he just left. It just left. But this is what we got. The gauntlet of guard. This like, I think pulls items to you, pulls things to you. Right click to pull entities. Yes. Oh, it's so good. Um, And then it also gives us armor while we're holding it is that right when it's held in your main hand it gives you armor while you're actively holding it that seems like a lot oh it looks so sick and that right there was a cataclysm boss so at this point we have two under our belts aha uh -huh. now this is what i really need and the main reason is for the skull that should be on this ship which it does appear a little different shape than i'm used to uh, is this actually changed too? The ships don't normally have this sticking out, do they? I don't remember that. But I do need this dragon skull, and for good reason. We're going to talk about that here in just a second. Let's go ahead and mine this. Ah, perfect. But I think I also ended up getting a dragon skull from somewhere else because I have one. But this is used to make a chunk destroyer. Now, we are also going to need nether stars for this, which is going to be pretty straightforward since now we have access to this dimension. But notice all of this. This chunk destroyer is going to be one of the most insane blocks that we get into. And by goodness, we're going to get into it possibly next episode. Now, without further ado, let's go visit this guy. And let's see, can we, what can we do with you? Do you get pulled? You didn't get pulled. Do you, do you take damage? Oh, wow, that does a lot of damage in my hand. That's what I need? <laughs> and then what do we have here? Undead Steed mimics the ability of a school's focus. Ooh, self summon steed, extend time. This summons a different kind of horse. Ah, I bet that's an undead horse that it spawns. Or maybe a skeleton horse? Ah, I bet. We can actually test it out, right? Ah, it does. It spawns a skeleton horse. So you can ride this one underwater. And there's that Mundabeater. That fun stuff to say. Um, and I think it's a familiar stone. Yeah, as far as loot goes, the only thing I'm going to take is if it's like Apotheosis gear. I'm going to try and take that. There we go. Yes, I just found running shoes. I still, though, I think my bunny slipper... Well, actually, we don't need bunny slippers anymore. Because we don't take fall damage, I believe. So I can put running shoes on and now I run even faster. Oh, and this is another one. Mimics the ability of the schools. This is um another summon steed. But if this is mimicking a different school, what kind of seed? Oh my gosh, it spawns dolphins. Oh, it spawns dolphins. Your personal submarine. 
No, I just killed a bunch of dolphins. I am horrible. I just realized something really important, by the way. Because of the addition of cough core, that means the um, insorcelation mod was added. That mod adds Vorpal, and Vorpal is an insanely powerful enchant. So if you thought that your current gear was powerful, just add Vorpal to it on, onto your sword, and then you'll realize when it hits like for five times the amount of damage that you have on that weapon. Uh, that, I just noticed it because there was Vorpal on one of these swords. Yeah, this one right here. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I also just found some snorkels. So this is actually a great way to not only find these dragon scales, uh, which you can get, by the way, by chopping up a dragon head, uh, and also gems, but it's also a great way to find all of these artifacts. Like, this is, this is good. Now, there's one other thing that I want to talk about before we end today's episode, and that is this biome that I am currently in, uh, being the end highlands this right here usually right underneath these structures is the end highlands and this is where we're going to find unobtainium is down underneath in those very specific biomes but i'm gonna wait until we have a chunk destroyer first before i start doing that because they can be kind of hard to find also what is what is this i'm just discovering more and more things is this a is this loot there is a loot down here. No, it's just a spawner. Oh, that's cool. As if I wanted more phantoms around. But with that, I am going to have to call it there. Yes, what an adventure that was. And now we have access to the end and more in related things, such as the Chunk Destroyer and also taking on the Wither, which should be pretty easy now that we have access to the underneath of the end portal. <laughs> well, I mean, it would be easy anyways with all the mods, but still, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Hopefully you learned something new about the end that is in all the mods nine. And guys, well, it's uh, time to click that uh, subscribe button if you haven't already. And give this video a huge thumbs up. And that's the best way to find the next episode when it does go live. Also, follow me over on Discord. Uh, I do publish my videos over there onto the Discord. So if you have a hard time keeping up with YouTube's algorithm and you're looking for the next one, it's always posted on the Discord every day automatically. So be sure to check that out. Speaking of the Discord, it's now time to thank the amazing supporter of today's episode. And that amazing thanks is going to go out to, if I can spell thanks right, as always, Daisy, thank you so much for your amazing support, by the way, over on the Discord and becoming a Discord premium member and supporting in one of the best ways possible. Guys, thank you so very, very, very much. I hope to see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye. I was wondering where that darn spawn egg went. Well, off on another adventure.